Hi everyone, we just wanted to give you a quick little tutorial on how to access specifically Google Classroom through the Clever Portal. Um, this should be kind of familiar to your students because we do use it at school, but because they're logging in um, sometimes for the first time at home, they may need a little more help and this is just to help you um, if they get stuck or if you have any questions. So the first step is to go to clever.com and then from there, you're going to click on Login as a Student here in the upper right corner. And then mine looks a bit different because I've logged in before, but yours may look like this. All you need to do is search for our school. So just type in Matthew Turner and that should pop up. And then from there, what you will do is click here on Login with Google. And each student does have a Google account so their Google account is just their five digit student ID number, which for our younger kids, they probably know as their lunch number. So you'll just type in that five digit number and it's at students.venetiaunified.org. And then their password is their eight digit birthday. So for example, my daughter's birthday is November 5th, 2017. So I would type in 11052017. And they all should be familiar with, um, with what their login information is. And then from there, it's gonna take you to a page that looks like this. This is um, just called what we call their Clever Portal. And this is basically just like a one-stop shop that has all kinds of different apps that we may use in class and they might want to use now while they're at home. Um, so for example, our Lexia program is here. We have our everyday math program here, mystery science. Um, they're offering some free mini um, lessons right now. Go Noodle has a bunch of different um, like recess activities, PE activities. Storyline Online has books that are read aloud by celebrities. So lots of really fun things here. Seesaw is also accessible through here. Um, the one that's gonna be really important for you right now is to scroll all the way down here where it says BUSD and you're going to have them go to Google Classroom. So all of our assignments are going to be posted on Google Classroom weekly. So from here, depending on whose class you're in, you might see a bunch of different classrooms. So our students regularly use one class, but for this um, closure period, the district has created an additional class for us. So if you're on my class, Mrs. Dam's class, you're going to click on this one that says Mrs. Dam's Distance Learning Classroom. Um, so just check with your teacher on what the name of the classroom is that they are going to, to have you use. Um, so from there, that's going to take you to this page that will have assignments posted. Now, nothing is posted at this moment. It will be posted uh, at 10 a.m. Wednesday, um, and then the following week, we're going to do Monday at 10 a.m. So right now, I just have one assignment, and it's just a test assignment. So I'm going to click here just so you can kind of see what it will look like what well, may look like. So this just is the test assignment. It says assignments will be posted here. Um, an example might say, go to Seesaw and complete the assignment titled, I love reading. See the attachments as examples. So um, here we are going to try to make um, things accessible for you um, and what might work best with your family's situation. So you might have an assignment that is on here digitally, but also we may have a PDF. And if that's the case, then you can actually print this and do it on paper rather than digitally. Um, and that just kind of gives you flexibility to figure out, you know, what's going to work um, best for your child and for um, your family during during this time. Um, so some assignments might be directly on here and ask you, like, for example, this would be a Google slide that students would go on to and they would actually um, do the assignment directly on here, um, or it might say like go to Seesaw and complete this assignment, or it might say go to um, Epic and read this book. So you'll just check here um, on the assignments, and then when they finish an assignment, they would click uh, Mark is done, or it might say turn in, and um, that's how you would access our assignments weekly. So if you have any questions on how to log on, please email your teacher and we've been more than happy to assist you.